welcome to your March 8th to 15th reading. Um, 8th to 15th? 8th to 14th reading. Well, let's get started. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at what's going on. See what's up for the week ahead. Cards are flying out like crazy here. All right, that feels good. We've got a bunch of flyer cards. Ooh. I mean, it's not that bad, but I mean, it stings a little. Ah, you know, I like to keep these fucking positive, but man. Okay, so I'm just going to, I got to be honest here. There is a lot of love stuff coming up here and it ain't the best. So uh, let's take a look. Um, I feel like there's delays. I feel like um, if any of you are heading into an engagement or a wedding or something, I feel like there are delays. And not only that, I mean, there is a trifecta of love stuff going on here. So let's take a look. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. We have the Page of Cups reversed, the Ace of Cups reversed, and the King of Cups reversed. All these are, um, I mean, when they're not reversed, they are definitely uh, omens of love or have to do with, I mean, they still have to do with love life, but in a different way. So, um, when it comes to your love life, I definitely feel like you're going through some kind of a wake up call. Um, we have the judgment card coming up, which, and this also is re reversed. So this is kind of, it's not just a wake up call, but it's, a it's like an alarming wake up call. So, um, I'm not seeing any crazy shit like infidelity or anything like that. However, I think it's really time to face the facts in your relationships. Now, this can be a love relationship. This can also be a friendship. Um, but you really need to start looking at if like, is this for you? Um, the Ace of Cups reversed is telling me that it feels like this relationship never quite got off the ground. It's always been baby steps, baby steps. And it, it's like you've had to coddle and like babysit this relationship to get it where it is today. Like nothing has flown, flown, flowed, flowed smoothly um the page of cups coming up reversed it's like news of love coming to you but it's not to be trusted it's almost like it's uh, how do i explain that it's like maybe somebody is saying things prematurely maybe you're getting i love yous prematurely maybe somebody's saying stuff to you that they don't really mean and here's the thing with all this stuff coming up, you can feel that something's wrong. This shouldn't be a big surprise. If it was a big surprise, I feel like the tower would be coming up. But I feel like in your heart of hearts, you've been feeling like something ain't right. So again, this doesn't just have to do with um, love relationships. It can be any kind of relationship. And then also, oh, with this King of Cups coming up reversed, I mean... There is an element of emotional manipulation. I know that sounds like a big fucking scary thing to say, but I do feel that. I feel like there is 
Um, there is some kind of emotional manipulation going on. Somebody could be gaslighting you. Somebody could just be, uh, you could also be dealing with a narcissist. Narcissism is a big thing. And I mean, this could also apply. I mean, like I said, any kind of relationship, this could even be something like some kind of a relationship at work. Like, well, hopefully you're not shitting where you eat, if you know what I mean. But I mean, like, maybe it's your boss that's treating you like shit or something. I don't know. And maybe to your face, he's really nice or she. But um, you are really being called this week, Taurus, to be very honest about your relationships and what the fuck's going on. So an added thing here is we have the seven of... Man, I mean, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. The Seven of, of Swords. So you see this guy, he's stealing the swords and running away like a little bitch. Um, and that's kind of what it feels like. I feel like, too, you need to be careful this week about any kind of shady behavior. Be careful when you're signing contracts. Um, just because there's pentacles around this card. So big contracts, big purchases. Just be very... Uh, just do your due diligence and fucking read through everything really a lot. Um, it just sucks. I feel like you're going to be, it's like you're trying to keep your head above water. You're trying to prove yourself. It's like, there's a, a part of me that feels like you're trying to prove yourself to everybody, but when you don't need to, you don't need to prove shit. I feel like things around you are shady and weird and you just need to have the confidence to know that you are being true and honest and everything is everyone else's fault. <laughs> That's always a good way to go, right? No, but seriously, um, I just feel like you're trying to prove yourself to the wrong people, if that makes sense. Like, who gives a fuck what those people think? You just need to prove yourself to yourself and to good people around you, not the shitty ones. Um, yeah, there's definitely, I mean, fuck, I really want to give you some good news, but it's a tough week and it's just a week. That's the good news. It's only a fucking week. So this doesn't have to go on forever. We do have two fives coming up. And like I always say, these are very unstable, um, card in the deck, which is, here's what's a little confusing to me is that amongst all this fuckery, you have the nine of cups that was one of your flyer cards, which is the luckiest card in the deck. So somewhere in here, there is a silver lining. There's something about this situation that maybe gives you, you know, once you realize it, you can breathe and you're like, okay, I wasn't going crazy. There is good luck associated with this. You are being um, pushed to change something, but whatever this change is, it's good for you and it's going to bring you way better luck. So um, I am going to pull a few last cards here. Um, also, uh, just a reminder, um, if you are looking for a love specific reading, I have uh, for the month of March, I have love readings and career readings available. The links for those are in the description of this video. And they're only a few bucks to purchase or to rent, whatever you feel like. Well, this is a nice card. Okay, so I yeah, like like I said, the good news about this week is that it's only a week. And what I'm seeing here is uh, we have the Ten of Cups, which again, like the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, two beautiful cards are coming up amongst this fuckery. So whatever is going on right now, this wake up call, it is... It's for a purpose. It's for a reason. You're learning something from it and it is moving you into um, a phase of completion and a phase of new beginnings like and happiness and harmony. So um, yeah, really, really interesting. But there is definitely a silver lining here. And I feel like going into next week, there's going to be some money opportunities for you. Um, some choices to do with money, but we'll get into that 
uh, maybe a little more next week. But yeah, just, you know what? Be true to yourself this week. Don't take any shit and definitely don't take any emotional manipulation and you will be just fine, Taurus. So Taurus, that's your reading for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. And um, yeah, I will see you next week. So be good, behave, and see you soon.